Welcome to this podcast. Um, my name is Dr. Jerry Gormley, and on behalf of my co authors, I'd like to present an overview of a paper that is published in the Clinical Teacher entitled Keeping It Real Enhancing Realism in SP OSCE Encounters. I think it'd be fair to say that many of us who have examined an OSCEs have experienced situations, stations where really the scenario uh, pays little or no resemblance to the actual real clinical working environment. Often it would appear that the student is more going through the checklist, ticking the boxes, rather than actually carrying out the skill if they encountered it in the real working world. At Queen's University and I'm sure many other institutions, we're using a series of technologies uh, and techniques to enhance the realism, the authenticity uh, of OSCE stations. Um, as outlined in our paper, uh, there are a number of principles that underpin increasing the realism and authenticity of OSCEs. Um, but in essence, the key ones are that all students should experience the same assessment experience and that the skill that's being portrayed uh, should be amenable to multiple examinations with a large cohort uh, of students. Not only the explicit uh, cues of the OSCE station, the real focus of the station, for example, taking the history from a patient who has acute coronary syndrome, but also we should pay attention to many of the implicit cues, the environmental, the sensory, the emotional cues that really can uh, increase the authenticity. And narrowing the gap between the real and simulated uh, scenario, uh, these implicit cues are vital. In terms of enhancing the realism, there are three main areas that we would look at. Uh, first of all, regarding the standardised patient and how they betray the rule. Secondly, uh, equipment uh, and technology that can be applied to the simulated patient uh, to enhance the realism. And finally, the immediate environment around the standardised patient should also be considered. In terms of the standardised patient, it is very important that not only they're provided with a script, uh, but also that the script uh, really captures uh, the sense of the clinical situation. And using patient narrative, uh, we know, can also enhance the realism. Okay, yes. So, uh, and I also want you to show some emotion. Also paying attention to, to the non-verbal cues, the mannerisms, for example, if a patient was experiencing back pain, uh, that they show the gestures of being in pain, maybe holding their back, are also very important to consider. In terms of applying technology uh, and equipment to simulated patients, uh, I'm sure many of us have used uh, special effects makeup uh, applied to patients. For example, applying a, a, a bruise uh, makeup to a, a patient to resemble a, a head injury. Also, Queens, we are using uh, transfer tattoos of skin lesions. These are temporary tattoos that you can apply uh, to the simulated patient, for example, uh, a malignant melanoma. So not only does the candidate have to clinically assess the patient and look at the morphology of the lesion, uh, but also starts to have to communicate uh, the potential diagnosis to the patient. So really getting the humanistic qualities uh, of that clinical scenario. We often um, use hybrid simulation, that's where we can attach uh, various um, mannequins uh, to standardised patients. So, for example, when a student uh, is uh, suturing a skin wound, uh, that they're also doing that pr procedural skill, but also interacting with the patient and um, giving them attention, due attention, throughout the, the procedure. Finally, the environment around the patient is also important to consider and this may even take the form of uh, observation charts or prescription charts at the end of the standardised patient's bed and this even might be important for uh, the actual OSCE station. Um, a urinary catheter bag with fake blood in it, a sputum cup, a cardiac monitor, I'm sure you can think uh, of many more. So uh, our article really tries to review all these techniques and give you an idea of some that we're using at Queen's and I'm sure that many of us are using uh, a variety of other techniques uh, in, our, in our OSCEs uh, in medical student studies. So hopefully you enjoy reading our article uh, and it triggers you to, to think about this in OSCEs and maybe uh, try a few new techniques uh, that you haven't used before.